Backbone collections are ordered set of models. They're useful when you want to work with a group of models. Building collections is very easy and is similar to building models. We simply extend backbone.collection and specify the type of models that the collection can hold. Let's see this in action. We can put objects in a collection in two ways. We can pass the initial array of models when creating the collection, or we can call the add method on an instantiated collection. The add method is provided by underscore and is available in all Backbone collections. Underscore provides many other methods that make working with collections really easy. We'll cover them in a few minutes. Alright, now let's go to Chrome and inspect our collection. Note these properties here. These are the ones that our collection inherited from the base backbone.collection object. Every backbone collection has length and models property. The length property returns the number of models inside the collection and the models property gives us direct access to these models. Most often, we use the at or get methods to access a model in the collection. Let's try them. The at method returns a model at the given index. Here, 0 represents the first model in the collection. Also note that this model has the CID of C1. Every backbone model has two IDs. One is a persistent ID, which is assigned by the server, and another one is the client ID or CID, which is assigned by backbone. CID is a temporary identifier that backbone uses to keep track of objects. We can get a model from a collection by its ID, which is its persistent ID, or CID, which is the client ID. So another way for us to get the same model here is like this. We can also remove a model from a collection by calling the remove method. The remove method expects a model. So you need to get the model by either its index or its ID and then pass it to this method. Let's verify that the model is removed. Backman collections provide an easy way to work with a group of models. We can create a collection type by extending backbone.collection. We can add models to a collection when instantiating a collection or by calling the add method. The length property returns the number of models inside the collection. The add method returns the model at the specified index. The get method returns the model specified by its ID or CID. We can remove a model from a collection by calling the remove method. All the methods we've covered in this lecture are provided by underscore. In the next lecture, we'll cover more of underscore methods available in collections. Thank you for watching.